Now, yesterday we um, were, we began chapter one, which deals with single gene disorders, and this is a very high yield chapter because it covers all of the pedigrees. And yesterday we talked about three of the five pedigrees. We talked about autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, and yesterday we went through the explanation. The biochemical explanation is why one disease is, auto, is recessive and another disease is dominant from a biochemical point of view. That was reviewed yesterday. And then we talked about X-linked recessive. In fact, it affects mostly males, and that's where we're at right now. The issue of um, why is it that um, in X-linked recessive it affects only males? Because males have one X chromosome. If the gene is defective, then they're going to suffer pathology. Uh, and in females, um, again, of the two chromosomes, uh, one of the X chromosomes may have a defective gene, yet females with a defective chromosome actually does not suffer pathology. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to try to talk about now. Before we talk about X-linked dominant, we're going to talk about the X chromosome in females. And that's where we're at right now. We're going to talk about X chromosome inactivation. Now, the, now the concept here is the biochemical concept. The biochemical concept is if females have two X chromosomes, that means in, in, in a cell, they have two X chromosomes in a cell compared to males. Yet females do not have twice the number of enzymes, twice the number of proteins coming from the X chromosomes compared to males. So why is that? Why don't they have twice the number of proteins or enzymes encoded by the genes on the two X chromosomes? And as everybody knows, the reason is because one of the two X chromosomes is condensed and, uh, and turned off, and the genes in that chromosome, uh, on the X chromosome, is turned off by cytosine methylation. Now, I have a question for you here. In, in cell biology um, uh, and in genetics, what's the name of the process of X chromosome inactivation? Where one of the two X chromosomes is turned off by cytosine methylation. What is it called? What's the process called? The process called uh, making the bar body. Uh, yes, what's the process called of making the bar body? And the answer indeed is lionization. So if you see this word on a national board exam, it's referring to the fact that one of the two X chromosomes in a female's cells will undergo um, a complete cytosine methylation of the genes and all the genes are condensed into heterochromatin. The entire X chromosome is heterochromatin and that uh, now is called a bar body. But the process of doing that is called lionization after the person who discovered the, the, uh, the process is named a lion. And so they called it after that person called lionization. Now the idea here is, is what we have here on the left side is that uh, is this uh, is a blastocyst. Suppose on the left side, this is a blastocyst of a female. This is a female blastocyst, which are, which um, uh, as, which is about a hundred cells. Now these hundred cells in a blastocyst. Uh, this is the time when the the X chromosome becomes inactivated in the process of lionization. Now suppose um, uh, now in these cells, in these hundred cells. Uh, Remember, there are two X chromosomes. One comes from the father and one comes from the mother in a female embryo. So one of the, the X chromosomes coming from the father and the second one comes from the mother in each of the cells. But in half of the cells, um, the, in this example, the X chromosome that comes from the father is completely shut down in lineization to form the bar, the bar body. But the X chromosome that comes from a mother, that, that chromosome is active. But in the other 50% of the cells, half the cells, it's just the reverse. That the chromosome, that, the X chromosome that comes from the father is alive, whereas the X chromosome that comes from the mother is lionized all the way down to the bar body and completely shut down. So, th so again, the idea is in one half of the cells of a female embryo, one of the two X chromosomes is inactivated by cytosine methylation and the process called lionization. And in the other half of the cells, it's the other X chromosome that is inactivated. 
this inactivation of the chromosome, X chromosome, is random and fixed. It means it's never reversed. In this cell, once you form that bar body, the maternally X chromosome is always off. In the other half of the cells, in forming the bar body of the paternally inherited X chromosome, it's always off. Never to be reversed ever again in those particular cells here. Okay, so now what I want to discuss here is the concept of how this integrates with pathology.